the revelation of a cutting-edge exoplanet has stargazers energized, as it may indeed be a sign of something happening beneath the surface. For quite a long time, the myth of finding life beyond Earth has intrigued humankind. Now, with the James Webb Space Telescope, that myth could soon become a reality. The telescope has exposed an intriguing mystery in Proxima Centauri, the closest star system to us. Among its planets, Proxima B stands out with peculiar artificial lighting, leaving the scientific community both confused and captivated. Could this be the long-anticipated proof of intelligent life beyond our planetary organization? How do researchers determine if these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on Proxima B? Join us as we dive into how the James Webb Space Telescope just detected city lights 7 trillion miles from Earth. Humans have always been intensely curious about the mysteries of the universe. Through technological advancements, our natural power to explore the Earth and sky continues to push us forward. Despite years of development, Earth remains the only planet we know to have life. The age-old question endures. Are we the only occupants of the universe? Or are there civilizations hidden among the stars, waiting for us to discover them? To answer this challenging question, American cosmologists Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson began a project called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This nonprofit endeavor aims to filter through space, focusing on spaceborne radio transmissions. These radio waves can travel vast distances and are the primary means of potential extraterrestrial communication. With 42 radio telescopes strategically positioned in the Californian Cascade Mountains, known as the Allen Telescope Array, scientists continue to search for reliable signals of extraterrestrial civilizations. However, despite years of searching, there is still no convincing evidence of signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. Recent reports from NASA suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have detected artificial city lights from nearby planets. Is there any substance to this claim? Let's figure it out. The successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope marks mankind's significant breakthrough in understanding the universe. The JWST is the most advanced instrument in the history of humankind for comprehending what the universe holds. Located around one million miles from Earth, this massive telescope is our window to the earliest times of the universe. It brings previously unseen observations closer revealing insights into the formation of systems, stars, and planets. Astronomers harness the JWST's cameras and filters to capture and study the complex spectra surrounding celestial objects. Through the JWST, analysts can gather valuable data about the chemical compositions and physical properties of heavenly bodies in the farthest reaches of the universe. They achieve this by isolating specific frequencies of light. Beyond basic observation, the JWST investigates and explores the atmospheres of exoplanets for hints of life. Its remarkable ability to see beyond the limits of reality has led to some of the most unexpected discoveries. For example, astronomers using the telescope have discovered more mass than previously known to exist in the universe, hidden in various large galaxies. This finding has challenged earlier ideas about the structure and extent of the universe. Just 20 years ago, the world beyond our planetary system remained largely unknown and without any known planets. However, astronomers have since discovered over 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, a remarkable demonstration of human ingenuity and technological advancement. According to NASA, this inventory might be just the tip of the celestial iceberg, indicating the presence of trillions more exoplanets scattered throughout the universe. In the enthusiastic search for extraterrestrial life, Scientists continue to look for the possibility of discovering alien territories beyond where we have been before. As fate would have it, during the Galileo spacecraft's journey to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument uncovered a unique spectral mark that indicated Earthbound flora. This remarkable discovery marked the first time researchers had observed a biosignature. The flora's red edge, VR, appears in alien life distinctly by focusing on how it reflects light. The JWST is expected to unveil the questions surrounding extraterrestrial conditions. It will do this by carefully examining the orbital characteristics of potentially habitable exoplanets found in the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. Once identified, 
These visual signs can be crucial evidence in the search for intelligent life outside our planet. This could be the beginning of a new journey for us in our quest to discover the secrets of the universe. As sunlight passes through the atmospheric layers, the broken down light, which carries various frequencies, is absorbed by the particles and atoms in these layers. This absorption gives rise to a unique spectral pattern, like different fingerprints that can be interpreted through spectroscopic analysis. It is speculated that when light from a star reaches a planet, the JWST will be able to differentiate it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Thus, the JWST will be key in unveiling the atmospheric composition of remote exoplanets, a fundamental sign of their potential for Earth-like life. Earth-sized planets with atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, like Earth, could harbor conditions conducive to life as we know it. However, the absence of expected elements or the presence of unusual combinations could indicate alternative forms of life or even technological civilizations. Interestingly, detected chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are man-made compounds commonly used for refrigeration and industrial purposes, could aid researchers in proving the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. If the JWST observes such synthetic compounds in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it will open new avenues of inquiry for extraterrestrial activity outside our planetary system. This represents a very intriguing challenge for astronomical scientists, opening a new door into the atmospheric environments of various worlds and the potential of exotic civilizations well beyond the Milky Way. The discovery of life beyond our planet is characterized by numerous possibilities that go beyond the boundaries of natural science. While we imagine life as we know it thriving in calm environments like ours, the reality may prove much more diverse and extreme. For example, extremophiles, an intriguing group of organisms predominantly made up of microorganisms, challenge what we know as a suitable living space. These hardy life forms can easily survive and even thrive in conditions typically described as very extreme. Extremophiles can endure even the most extreme conditions, with temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and pH levels below 3, showcasing the resilience of living things under harsh conditions. The limitless dynamics of the universe and the countless conditions associated with it tell us that our quest for extraterrestrial life should be broad. While reference planets equivalent to Earth and orbiting around stable sun-like stars provide valid potential opportunities, we must also consider alternative scenarios. High candidates for investigation may include exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, M dwarfs, which are more abundant in the universe. Despite their lower brightness and cooler temperatures compared to our sun, these stars offer excellent opportunities to explore the potential for life in diverse conditions. The long life expectancy of red dwarf stars provides ample time for the slow, complex cycles of life's emergence and evolution to unfold. Located about 40 light years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system stands out as a top focus for the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST mission. This fascinating system, which includes a faint red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets, orbits the tranquil red dwarf star. Three of these known planets are identified as habitable and potentially have water on their surfaces. Although smaller and cooler than our sun, the TRAP, PIST-1 star emits light suitable for supporting life on its orbiting planets. Among the diverse stars in the cosmic community, Proxima Centauri rises as a reference point for potential habitability. At a distance of just 4.25 light-years from the Sun, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our own. This star may appear faint in its glow, barely significant amid the darkness of the night sky, but its weak radiance means that any habitable planet orbiting it must maintain a close distance. The distance of any habitable planet to Proxima Centauri must be approximately 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. Without meeting this condition, none of its planets can support life-sustaining conditions like our planet. In an intriguing discovery on August 24, 2016, cosmologists found a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth located within Proxima's habitable zone. This Goldilocks-like location offers a delicate balance of light intensity, perfectly suitable to melt ice for water and potentially sustain the seeds of life. Proxima b is a galactic enigma orbiting around Proxima Centauri, its host star. This planet, which is just 4.6 million miles from its small red star, 
faces many challenges to its ability to support life. Proxima b is extremely close to its host star, Proxima Centauri, which exposes it to strong solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere and render it barren. Despite these harsh conditions, Proxima b receives enough sunlight to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water is in liquid form. However, the planet's close orbit likely results in tidal locking, leading to one side of the equator experiencing constant high sunlight while the other experiences absolute darkness. This situation resembles the Moon's relationship with Earth in our planetary system. With just 18% of the mass of the Sun, Proxima Centauri produces a weak glow, emitting significantly less light than expected. Combined with its proximity to Proxima b, just 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, Proxima Centauri defies conventional assumptions. It suggests that Proxima b might not be a regular planet. Instead, it may hold hidden secrets. The JWST's discovery of light sources equivalent to Earth's artificial lighting on Proxima b has led scientists to contemplate the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Is there any merit to these assertions? Astrophysicists believe that future scientific data will solidify Proxima b as a candidate for extraterrestrial life. The radiance patterns on Proxima b are closely monitored by the JWST. If these patterns maintain a steady radiance and are consistently detected, it would suggest a definitive sign of intelligent life. While the search for signs of life continues to inspire awe and curiosity, it remains to be seen whether these patterns will ultimately serve as compelling evidence of intelligent life on Proxima b. It may not be the blazing hell one might expect for a planet so close to its star. Despite the challenges posed by its close orbit and the potential lack of atmosphere due to solar winds, Proxima b offers compelling opportunities. If it holds a protective atmosphere capable of trapping heat, liquid water might exist on its surface, opening the door to the fascinating possibility of habitability beyond Earth. With Proxima b receiving only 65% of Earth's total solar energy, its prospects for fostering life are relatively low. The planet's potential state of tidal locking creates extreme temperature differentials between its scorching day and freezing night. These harsh conditions, compounded by the planet's proximity to Proxima Centauri, subject Proxima b to intense radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, making it inhospitable to life as we know it. Additionally, Proxima b is bombarded by high-energy particles during stellar flare-ups. Unless the planet boasts a shielding magnetic field like Earth, these bombardments could strip away its atmosphere, eliminating the conditions necessary for life to flourish. Practical modeling suggests that tidally locked planets like Proxima b may experience rapid atmospheric breakdown as volatile gases freeze out on the night side. Unlike Earth, where volcanic activity replenishes the atmosphere, Proxima b lacks such mechanisms for atmospheric replenishment. The secret surrounding Proxima b extends beyond its surface conditions to its actual potential for harboring advanced civilizations. Up until now, our current understanding provides little insight into Proxima b's volcanic activity or the strength of its magnetic field. However, the intriguing possibility of an atmosphere lends credence to the planet's true potential for hosting life. The presence of an atmosphere on Proxima b could signify the existence of oceans and raise the prospect of life. The mission to find signs of natural developments on Proxima b has intensified, driven by the hypothesis that such organisms might have devised intelligent solutions to overcome the planet's inhospitable conditions. One intriguing idea suggests deploying large solar chargers across Proxima b's dayside. These panels could harness the star's radiant energy to illuminate and warm the perpetually dark and cold night side. Such a venture could transform the desolate landscape into habitable zones capable of supporting life. The new discovery of Proxima b has ignited a heated race among astronomers to determine if it transits its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would allow scientists to measure the planet's size and mass, thus determining its density, confirming its rocky composition, and providing insights into the materials that make up its rocks. Furthermore, Starlight passing through Proxima b's atmosphere during these transits offers clues about the structure of its atmosphere and its habitability. Despite the challenges, the quest to unravel the mystery of Proxima b remains a priority, fueled by the insatiable human thirst for knowledge and the possibility of other life forms outside our solar system.
Another factor to consider is Proxima Centauri's turbulent nature, capable of substantial flares. This increases the complexity of investigating the habitable universe of Proxima b. Cosmologist David Kipping from Columbia University describes the star as volatile, highlighting the challenge posed by its variable heating patterns. While rocky planets typically absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, Proxima's case differs. Its infrared signature differs from that of its host star, providing a unique opportunity for observation. The James Webb Space Telescope acts as the savior, as it can detect infrared frequencies. Proxima's unique infrared intensity signature is what will help us discover the secrets of its climate. The JWST's advanced infrared imaging capabilities are fully equipped to reveal the secrets of Proxima B's atmosphere components and provide novel insights into the possibilities of living on it. Furthermore, the JWST's infrared sensitivity extends the investigation to Proxima B's night side. Despite the daunting task of detecting faint artificial illumination against immense darkness, the JWST's advanced technology allows it to detect even the slightest sparkles of light. The James Webb Space Telescope could confirm the rumors about city lights on Proxima's night side, even if they were as weak as the lights we currently use at night. The telescope can detect artificial illumination provided it falls within a frequency band 1,000 times narrower than starlight. Proxima B's unique climate offers a fascinating relationship between its surface features and celestial interactions. The planet's day side, filled with many solar chargers, will harness the star's radiant energy, while its spectral side effectively reflects incoming light rays. As Proxima B completes its orbit around its host star, its 247 faces experience equal cycles characterized by mild daytime highs and cool nighttime lows. But the degree of temperature,